Hello everyone, my name is Mr. Martinotti and today I'm going to be showing you how to use an architect table, a blueprint, and a builder to recreate a 3D structure in Minecraft FTB. Okay, so the first thing you're going to need is a 3D structure that you would like to duplicate. Now, I've already made one here out of gold, some diamond, and some stone. Uh, but it can be out of anything with a size up to 64 by 64 by 64. Now that's only the size that I've tested. Uh, there may be a larger one, but anything more than that, and it starts to get uh, laggy and possibly going to crash your game, which could lead to a corrupted save. So uh, safe side, I'd stick to 64 cubed. Okay, so the first thing you're going to need to do is make... Um, an outline around the structure using these landmarks. These are really easy to make. It's just lapis on top of a redstone torch. Now, you're going to place down eight of them in a cube around the structure. Uh, they are glitchy, like most things in this mod pack, so there is a chance that you'll have to play with them a bit. All right, so um, we're going to be placing our architect table next to one of the corner torches. Um, so it's important that you right click the one next to the spot where you'll be placing the architect table. So you right click this and it makes red lines that should encompass the entirety of the structure. If there's any bit pointing out on the top, bottom, or any of the sides, it will not get transferred onto the blueprint. So we will place down this architect table. It will destroy most of the torches uh, you're going to want to do the other ones by hand because if they are not destroyed they will be transferred onto the blueprint as well which uh, you'll you'll need more of them if you recreate this because it will be necessary in order for the builder to build okay so now we're going to take a blueprint and put it inside our architect table you can name this blueprint whatever you'd like I'm gonna call it test uh, this requires no EU or MJ to run. It runs entirely on its own. So now we have a blueprint. Okay, so now let's say I want another one of these. It's just so cool that I need it. So we'll come over here and place down our builder. All right, we'll put our made blueprint inside of it. It will give us a list of things that we're going to need. Now since I'm in creative mode at the moment, just showing you guys this, it will not take any of these resources as it's building. Now in vanilla, or uh, non-creative survival, it will take the resources, so this will not work to create infinite of anything uh, unless something goes horribly wrong, or I guess horribly right, depending on how you look at it. Okay, so we have put everything inside, and it has created its own dimensional uh, cube, so this, as opposed to that, does require power in the form of MJ, which is created by engines of any type. I'm going to be using an electrical engine because it's sunny, and uh, I have an ultimate hybrid solar panel right here, which will transform uh, into electricity, or it will transform from EU into MJ, which will power this machine. Uh, it does need a lever to run, though, so keep that in mind. An entire stick and cobblestone will be wasted. Okay, so the builder has a blueprint and the three resources necessary. So we can turn it on. It will spawn this little guy inside and he will begin to form the structure over there, over here. Now this blueprint does not get used up in this uh, builder. So you are able to use it as many times as you'd like and you're able to overwrite it. So without making a new blueprint, you can put a new structure in here and put this blueprint back in this slot and it will get overwritten with this new ID. So this should be almost done. Just putting the finishing touches on my beautiful monstrosity. Um, and then these lines, uh, the architect is very good about getting rid of these lines. As soon as it's destroyed, oh, I, don't, I don't like dirt. As soon as it's destroyed, all of the lines are gone. But the builder, on the other hand, has some problems getting rid of the lines. Now, usually, it'll work if you just turn it off. You pull out the excess resources. If they're all used up, then you won't have to worry about this. And then you remove the blueprint. 
but you'll see it did not get rid of them for this uh, try. It has gotten rid of them before, but it did not this time. So if it doesn't get rid of them when you break it, it's easy to uh, just re-log onto the server, or if you're playing a uh, single player, you can just quit and go to the menu and open up the game again, and these will be gone. Thank you for watching. I hope you learned something, and I will see you guys next time. Bye-bye.